Hello there. And uh, yes, uh, thanks once again for joining us uh, on your show, On the Ball with Dendere, uh, where every time uh, we take you right around Zimbabwe and outside Zimbabwe as we talk about uh, the world's number one game. And as always, uh, we got a jam packed show. And uh, of course, uh, the part that you love most uh, is when we give you those simple questions uh, for the give always courtesy of uh, Dan Derry. And yes, uh, like uh, all the time on every show, we've got three questions. The main one, of course, which is the Dan Derry Yogurt Buster, where you get uh, the multiple choice. And then the other one, straight and easy uh, for uh, the prizes, uh, are the delightful Dan Derry Humpers. Right, uh, without any further ado, uh, let's say hello uh, to our guest uh, on the show this time around. Uh, he is a former Zimbabwe Warriors and Caps United defender, uh, actually a special a specialist on the right wing, as a right wing back. We used to call him Diva. We still call him Diva. Let's say hello uh, to, like I said, the former Warriors and Caps United defender, David Sengu. Diva, it's good to have you on the show. And uh, I, I know that we're going to have a lot of fun. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, CNN. I know a lot of people would want to, to call you CNN, yes. you know, because of your, your highly knowledgeable, you know, <laughs> about Zimbabwean football. You know, uh, thanks, viewers. Uh, you know, I would wish to enjoy this year. Okay, right. And uh, I'm sure right now, uh, Diva, people are saying, Ah, oh, Diva Sengu, you know, is this, he's still around. Uh, well, but uh, he, he hung up his boots some time ago. Uh, but Diva, uh, people would want to know, I'm sure, the millions you're watching right now and who will watch this show at any time uh, during their own leisure time. What are you doing now, Diva? Yeah, I'm into radio broadcasting. You know, yeah, yeah, with a with a local radio station, you know, which is uh, Star FM, and yes. also, you know, I'm a football coach, a hold of KFC license. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, I'm I'm juggling both. Yeah, you're juggling you know. both. Yeah, I'm juggling yeah. both. Because yeah, it's to do about football, isn't yes, it? Yes, as long as it's to do with football, uh -huh. yeah, you'll find me. You'll find right. me. Still miss those. Uh, Crunching right wing um, <laughs> tackles down the right flank for the Warriors and uh, Caps United. Yeah, of course, Charlie. But uh, the time was up, mm -hmm. you know, to let the the young boys come in. Of course, take a displace over you okay. know. Uh, but type in there also, mm -hmm. obviously, the time Yagashika, yeah. and I had to give space to you know to the upcoming youngsters, and I'm enjoying okay. you know as a coach and some of the boys Van Wach and Gatambana were still playing. So obviously, the respect you know they give to me, and also I'm imparting some of the things that I've learned, you know, as a coach. And I did my KFC, which is in 2014, mm -hmm. when I was still with uh, Triangle United. And after that, that's when, you know, I started, you know, to play uh, in Division One with Bangate United, you know, as a player assistant coach. But then 2018, I had to stop and concentrate more now and on Punditry and also, you know, as an assistant coach. Okay, great. Uh, so the great uh, David Diva Sengu, all right, uh, still involved a lot uh, uh, with football. Right, uh, we're going to go to what you love most, eh, the giveaways. Uh, but no, we're not uh, giving you the, the, the first question yet, the Dendary Yogurt Buster. What we're going to do is share with you some happy moments. We had a winner uh, on the show that's uh, some time back, two weeks uh, ago, two or three weeks ago, uh, he got the question right uh, from the Dendary Yogurt Buster. And uh, the winner's name was... Uh, Still is, that is his name, Nathan Siska. Let's uh, get a look there, showing us proudly his prizes, courtesy of Dan Dairy and Bull Red Distribution. Right, uh, Diva, as you can see, you know, he's got his case there of Amstel Light and his uh, delightful Dan Dairy hamper. Um, you know, I don't know, do you think the, the, the case is still is still around? This is from about two, three weeks ago. <laughs> it's all done, Charlie. <laughs> because obviously he was, you know, he was going to bring in his friends, you know, yeah. having drinks over the weekend, okay. enjoying, right. imagine, and that's a... A big, you know, right. <laughs> bumper of, you know, exactly. arms to light. And, exactly. you know, when it's a weekend, yeah. mostly you want to do it with your friends, maybe with your young brother or your friends. So at the end of the day, 
you know, we need this, Charlie. Yeah. Right. Okay, so uh, congratulations still to Nathan Siska. And yes, uh, Nathan, um, I know you always watch this show. And yes, you can still... Uh, uh, compete uh, uh, and uh, try and get uh, this week's uh, Dendere Yogurt Buster or the other two questions. Yes, it's still permissible. Maybe, who knows? Remember, uh, we got millions and millions of uh, your answers and at the end, you go into this big draw uh, where the lucky winners uh, uh, are drawn. So, keep on doing that uh, and remember, you can only do that uh, on the Dendere Sports Facebook page. Right, so, Let's uh, find out from the last show who our winners were. And let's start with the main winner, of course, uh, who got uh, uh, the Dane Dairy Yogurt Buster correct. Congratulations there to Natash Mugweni. Natash Mugweni, uh, the Dane Dairy Yogurt Buster winner, getting that uh, question correct. And uh, yes, uh, the, the, the multiple choice, uh, we, we try and make that easy for you uh, because uh, you, you, you claim that you are uh, the owners of the game. So we hope that uh, it's going to be easy for you. Right. Uh, and uh, we go to the other two winners, starting uh, with the winner who got uh, the second question correct. Uh, and uh, congratulations there to Tsidomea Govere. Right, uh, the other winner for the uh, third question, Spongile Moyo. Women rule, okay? Yes, uh, Spongile Moyo getting uh, the uh, third question correct. So congratulations to all those winners. And uh, yes, it can be your turn this time around, eh? On the show, on the ball with Dan Derry. Now, uh, let's uh, go forward and uh, bring you this week's Den Dairy Yogurt Buster. Here it is. Right, uh, that's it. Uh, uh, what is the nickname of Mighty Warriors forward Rutendo Makore? Is it A. Madzimai? Is it B. Sharpshooter? Or is it C. Mamoyo? So get cracking, get cracking and uh, tell us uh, uh, that one multiple choice. Uh, David Divasengu here knows it, but I'm not going to... <laughs> schema and to give you the answer because we need them to get it but all we can say uh diva about uh, rutendo makore i mean uh, prolific striker and uh, she is uh, one of the 29 members preparing for the kosafa women's championship uh, uh, taking place uh, in south africa uh, very very shortly and uh, I'm sure, you know, they will they will know all about uh, Rutendo Makore, but what a prolific striker. Yeah, she's a prolific striker in uh, CNN, and look at uh, her career mm -hmm. so far, you know, moving to Spain, yep. coming back, you know, to Black Rhinos, and they went to South Africa. Also, she was the top goal scorer, mm -hmm. and also the best, you know, female player, yep. you know, uh, mm -hmm. of the tournament. So it's, it tells you something that uh, we have got someone who is talented, mm -hmm. you know, and look, we never used to have, you know, a prolific striker mm -hmm. uh, in the Mighty Warriors uh, like uh, Rutendo Makore. You know, she's been banging goals. She has been banging goals. Well, Diva, okay, fine. It, 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 will, it will be a... At the moment, I okay, think, all right. She's, I think, yep. I think, I still feel think she's yep. the best. Oh, she, yeah, at the moment. Look, oh. she's, she still has got a career okay. ahead of her. And right. hopefully, she can set a record, yeah. you know, okay. for being the top goal scorer in the Mighty Warriors history. Okay. Uh, so far, I don't have stats at the present moment. Okay. Uh, who is, mm. you know, well, so far. Rudo Neshamba, uh, that's uh, the competitor for that one. Rudo Neshamba. Okay. But listen, Tifa, uh, let's not start this debate. We will be <laughs> starting the debate a little bit later on. Uh, because uh, uh, a little bit later on, you will uh, uh, see what I was talking about. Some prolific strikers as well in the Mighty Warriors camp. But listen, you can't take anything away from Rutendo Makore, a prolific striker. So that's the Dane Dairy Yogurt Buster question. So I know you're already cracking and uh, we are still here 
cracking but right now we're just going away from the cracking to take uh, a teeny weeny bit uh, we'll be right back I know where my filled with goodness dindiri comes from, right here in Zimbabwe. Our cows are fed on sweet lucerne pasture. Looked after by dedicated farmers from Kwekwe, Kweru, Bulawayo and Beatrice. Our farmers and the thousands of people employed to look after dindiri cows deeply care about the welfare of our animals. We know that healthy, happy cows produce the most and best milk. We want Zimbabweans to drink fresh, healthy and nutrient-rich milk. The story of how the dairy gets from our farms to your table starts right here on a farm in Zimbabwe. Welcome back on the ball with Dan Dairy, where we touch places and, uh, of course, uh, courtesy of Dan Dairy. Uh, once again, you see, I, I, I can never resist uh, this uh, delicious uh, uh, warm milk from Dan Dairy. Listen, I like it warm every time, whether it's cold weather or hot weather. I just like it warm, you know. Uh, that's uh, how it is. It goes down real well uh, down my throat. And uh, straight away, let's give you the second question uh, for you to have a chance uh, to get uh, that uh, delicious den dairy hamper. And uh, the question is, which England... <laughs> Which English club does Jamie Vardy play for? Ah, pretty easy it should be. Which English club does Jamie Vardy play for? Get cracking. Remember, you have to be on the Dendary Sports Facebook page to get that one. And uh, talking about that, uh, Diva, uh, uh, the English club and uh, I see uh, some English clubs in the UEFA Champions League and his club Leicester City are uh, in the Europa League but uh, a bit of a stumble by Manchester United the, uh, in their in their opening UEFA Champions League game but before we do that I, I'm sure people want to know which team does Diva support <laughs> Yes, you, you can tell them. <laughs> I'm a Liverpool supporter. Ah, Liverpool supporter. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, but Man United, you know, losing 2-1 away to young boys. Bit of a stumble, eh? Yeah. Mm. CNN, it's a, you know, I, I think if we say stumble, it's like they have played mm. some few games. Mm -hmm. But then, but if you look at the way they started their league, mm -hmm. they started on fire. Mm -hmm. Of course, they drew Southampton. It wasn't that good. Everyone was crying and saying, yeah, what was the performance? You know, from the mm. the first game. But look, this is Champions League. They are mm. playing the opponents that they don't know. Mm. You know, like week in, week out. Yeah. You know, and young boys has mm. been a boogie side. Okay. You know, to Manchester United. And at the end of the day, you know, when you play with the ten men, yeah. even if they are the underdogs, mm. of course they will get the upper hand. And that's what happened. And they got a lucky goal, especially mm. the second goal. It was a lucky goal. That's you know, right. given on the plate. So I think they they'll pick up mm -hmm. in the next game. Mm -hmm. Of course, his team Liverpool were victorious at the end. They beat AC Milan by three goals to two. Right uh, from the UEFA Champions League, we are coming back home. And uh, yes, you know that uh, every now and again, we take you back, back in time and to relive a great game uh, so that uh, you can enjoy um, what a show. Uh, you make it what it is. This time, we're going back about 20 years ago and uh, we are focusing on a match involving the mighty warriors we did ask you uh, the question on rutendo makore well she wasn't around then uh, she wasn't around then rutendo makore i mean in terms of playing for the warriors and she was uh, um, uh, a little baby she must have been maybe three <laughs> years old <laughs> then yeah. uh, maybe three three or four years old then and i don't know whether she was already a supporter of the mighty warriors probably was but uh, let's take you back down memory lane
This week we relive the day when women's football really hit the headlines. When Zimbabwe's mighty warriors demolished Namibia's brave gladiators, it was an African Women's Championships qualifiers at the National Sports Stadium. The crowd of 10,000 included Winnie Madigizela Mandela. Zimbabwe were always on top of things and soon went ahead through Ruth Banda. Nomsa boys Moyo made it 2-0 and the goals just kept on coming. And Precious and Paula proved that if the men can do it, so can the women with this brilliant free kick. Scoring goals and keeping fit went hand in hand for the mighty warriors. Fungai Nyamutukwa got the Mighty Warriors 11th from the spot. All in all, there were four goals for Ruth Banda, two for Precious Mpala, two for Nomsamoyo, there was an own goal, one for Christine Mpanza, and one for Nyamutukwa. The Mighty Warriors won 11-0. The second leg was a 4-2 victory for the Mighty Warriors for a 15-2 aggregate scoreline. They then beat Lesotho to qualify for the finals of the African Women's Championships, where they finished fourth overall, and women's football has never been so popular. Wow, what a massacre, hey, what a massacre. You must have enjoyed that, uh, the Zimbabwe Senior National Women's uh, Team and great names, household names, uh, you know, Precious Gringo Mbala, Ruth Banda, Ruth Banda there getting four goals, Site uh, Telel was Banda, uh, who's now the uh, Mighty Warriors uh, head coach. Uh, there was uh, the rock solid Rosemary Mugadza uh, in defense. I mean, listen, uh, there was also Pretty Piri, yeah? Yeah, yeah scorer. And, uh, you know, Diva, that, that was why I. I I got into the little argument <laughs> with you when you talked about, uh, you know, Rutendo Makore, most prolific striker ever. Uh, but like I said, that will be a subject for another day. But listen, those names, phew, magical. No, you know, mm -hmm. uh, CNN, that team, to be honest, uh, yeah. that team was marvel to watch. Mm -hmm. You know, and my games, ASA, most of their games, they mm -hmm. could score a bumper harvest of course yep. you know precious impala would use her speed oh yeah you know ruth banda she was trigger pretty as well mm. you know with giant goalkeeper in mm. daisy and those days you know when you are tall we could say i yeah, know he's you know giant but yep. you know that team was assembled you know in a in a way you could see uh, lines with sana mm -hmm. you know maybe it's because uh, the majority maybe three quarters of the team right the same team which is mm -hmm. who you know it was, was it cyclone or yep. mm -hmm. mm. yeah, yeah it was Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So at the end of the day, you look, Charlie, mm -hmm. the combinations will always be there. Yeah, they would. You know, even yeah. if you look at the current setup of mm -hmm. the current senior women's national team, mm -hmm. probably three quarters are coming from black rhinos, mm -hmm. whereby you find good the combinations are changing. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not a single floor. So, you know, some of these games, Charlie, I think we really need to keep on reviewing them, yeah. you know, to our fans so that Vanyas yeah. owner, you know, how we enjoyed watching those. You know those girls and those days uh, they were so passionate yep. you know about football though the league was a little bit you know but mm -hmm. now because look now we have the kosafa champions league yep. manning so at the end of the day and it is no to bring up a jail cow girl child yep. could i just say i mean more involved yep. into sport and we also need 
Yeah, yeah, to support yeah, yeah, support yeah. Mm -hmm. and it, so yeah i think it's very fantastic yep yeah, that's right it will be a, a program a debate for another day uh, was that mighty warriors squad then more prolific than the one that is here uh, who was the uh, top notch striker and so on and so on. they also had uh, um, Nomsa Boys Moyo, who was the playmaker in that uh, team. And uh, some people reckon that uh, Nomsa Boys Moyo is the finest ever player uh, produced in the country so far. Uh, well, we'll that, like I said, that would be a debate for another uh, day, of course. Right. Uh, we are going away again uh, for another teeny weeny bit uh, to get a message uh, from uh, our sponsors, Den Dairy. I don't have to tell you, I know you're not going anywhere because we'll be right back. The story of how Den Dairy gets from our farms to your table starts with me putting my family first. By choosing Den Dairy, I ensure my family stays healthy and strong. Milk provides the body with all the nutrients it needs. I like to keep my family healthy with Den Dairy milk. It keeps them strong and gives them energy. Den Dairy, filled with goodness. All that goodness freshly available at Den Dairy. We, we choose, choose Den Dairy. Welcome back. Uh, we are still with you. On the ball with Dan Derry. Or should I say you are still with us. On the ball with Dan Derry. It works both ways. Don't worry. Uh, just like uh, uh, Dan Derry gives you all those uh, uh, delicious uh, delights. Uh, and uh, yes, if you got the questions uh, correct, if you already sent uh, the Dan Derry yogurt, uh, yogurt buster about Rutendo Makore. And also the one about... Uh, which English club does Jamie Vardy play for? There's no multiple choice there. And, uh, well, we are going to give you now the third question. The third question. Uh, yes, get ready for it. Uh, the third question is, in which city is Sakuba Stadium situated? So I'm talking about our local uh, stadium. In which city is Sakuba Stadium situated? So... Get cracking. I'm sure you will crack that one very, very easy. Right. We've got um, a new player on the soccer field in terms of sponsorship. The country's two biggest sides, Dynamos, Dinamo Dimbare, and Highlanders, Iboso Iboso, got a breath of fresh air, got a shot up uh, in, the, in their arms uh, when uh, energy and fuel giant uh, Sakunda Holdings uh, uh, came onto the scene uh, to take care of uh, their ailing situation. And my word, what uh, a bumper, a whopping sponsorship package it was. It was a delightful evening uh, at the function. I was there as one of the two... Uh, uh, masters of ceremony or directors of ceremony as they uh, uh, talk about them now uh, was co-hosting that one with my very good friend Gary Thompson and we had fun and uh, the CEO of Sakunda Holdings uh, uh, Kuda Tagwire was also there he spoke about the package and at the end and uh, of course, one of the top guys at Sakunda Holdings, uh, Everton Mlalazi, uh, was there. He was the one who gave, who explained the whole package. And um, just roughly, uh, the bottom line is that the, top, the package is going to be over three years for both Dynamos and Highlanders. And the total package is, listen to this, 5.5 million US dollars. Every season, the two clubs are going to get uh, roughly 900,000 US dollars. Sakunda Holdings will pay for the salaries of both teams. They'll pay for the signing on fees of both teams. They'll pay for the administration at Dynamos and uh, Highlanders. They've also got uh, a whopping bonus. Should Dynamos win the league title at the end of the season, whenever the season is going to start, they will walk away with an extra 200,000 US dollars. 
the same will go for Highlanders if they do that. They will uh, walk away with that as a bonus. And if uh, Dynamo's and Highlanders do qualify, if they win the league title, of course, they will qualify for the African Champions League. Sakunda Holdings uh, will give them 150,000 US dollars to take care of the flying and uh, whatever, the camping for that. Of course, that money uh, will be paid uh, uh, at the uh, exchange rate in Zimbabwe dollars. And, uh, well, uh, Diva, this is the biggest sponsorship ever in Zimbabwe's football history for the, for the two biggest clubs in the country. <laughs> yes, Yemen, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm really excited, mm -hmm. you know, uh, with the time that uh, Sakunda Holdings came in. Mm -hmm. And look, these two clubs, they were struggling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's be honest, yeah, yeah. they were struggling. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully, you know, more corporates will come, mm. you know, so that our league at least can be better. Look at the amount of money that is poured into these two clubs, mm -hmm. you know, the captains, the coaches, yep. you know, whatever they received, mm -hmm. you know, for the next three years, at least now they can push for the best players. You know, when these two clubs in Zimbabwe, including Caps United, if they're performing well, the league excites. Yeah. You know, even the fans as well, you know, yes. they will start tripling back, you know, to watch our our local games mm -hmm. because if you look at highlanders especially when they are playing at barber fields mm -hmm. when they are doing well even when they are on the road the fans will always be with their team mm -hmm. same as dynamos you know those supporters who are all over zimbabwe mm -hmm. they will always be coming you know and supporting their team so for me i think uh, sakunta holdings uh, their gesture will bring more corporates you mm -hmm. know to the football fraternity look we used to have zambians coming in yes you know tanzanians coming yes here. Mm. south africans DRC. coming here yeah, players from yeah. drc coming yeah. in but now it's now you know Vice the opposite yeah, yeah it's now the opposite <laughs> we are now sending our best players out <laughs> so mm. hopefully those players will stay you know around and also big clubs mm. attract big players yeah you know so the league which is starting end of october i think I, I'll just wait for the league yeah. to start because this will be the rehearsal of what is going to be happening, especially when the Castle Premier League soccer starts. Mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, it will be something to behold. And uh, Sakunda Holdings uh, uh, did not end there. They gave a car for the personal use of Dynamo Z coach uh, Tonde Rai Stanza Ndiraya. And they also gave a spanking new car, hey, uh, an SUV, very, very nice. And they also gave a spanking new car to Dynamo's uh, captain, Patson Jaure, uh, the yellow, uh, uh, the Dynamo supporters also call him the Minister of Defense. They gave him a car for him to use. Uh, but this only as, as far as uh, they are, they will still be part of Dynamo's. They also gave a car, spanking new car, to Highlanders head coach Mandla Lulu Mpofu uh, to use. And also to his captain, Mangoy Ariel Sibanda to use. They did not end there. Sakunda Holdings uh, through their CEO Kuda Tagwire. Uh, they also gave uh, a house, a house eh, uh, to the greatest footballer ever produced in the country, but pity, he passed on just a uh, couple of uh, weeks ago, the great George Mastermind Shire, a house worth $120,000. His wife, uh, fortunately his wife is still around, Agnes, and Agnes uh, will take possession of the wife. Uh, uh, Sakunda have said, you go and look for the property any way you like as long as it is uh, within that range and uh, top of the range i'm sure it will be 120,000 us so agnes will do that uh, and sakunda did not stop there they said uh, one of the key players in dynamo success story over the years moses chunga bambo or the resume you are going to get a house from sakunda uh, worth ninety thousand dollars us so you go out there and hunt for a house and Sakunda didn't stop there. They gave a house uh, to uh, another guy who was instrumental in Highlanders' uh, success story over the years, uh, the great Madinda Katazile Ndlovu. And they said, you go and look for a house. And last but not least, Sakunda did not stop there. They gave a house with 19,000 US dollars to 
you know uh, you know who <laughs> they gave us to Charles CNN Mabika and they said uh, for the contribution uh, that I've done over the years for football uh, through my involvement through radio TV and press uh, and to the development of football you know I'm still I'm still shocked I, it was a bolt out of the blue and diva I, I, I still can't I still haven't managed to you know to devour it to to get it into my system but boy oh boy what a gesture from uh, uh, Sakun Holling it really excites uh, mm. CNN especially if they are legends, you know, being honored. Mm -hmm. You are a legend, yeah. you know. <laughs> Thank you. is a legend. <laughs> Moses Chuga is a legend. Mm -hmm. Of course, everyone is a, is a legend mm -hmm. on his own right, yep. you know. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I, w I would like to applaud, you know, uh, Sakunda Holdings mm -hmm. for the very good gesture. You know, we need more corporates now mm -hmm. to come in and, you know, honor these legends when they are still there, mm -hmm. you know. Yep, sure. Of course, uh, the mastermind is not there, but I would have loved, you know, uh, uh, you know, for, for him, him to, to be there. Yeah, to be mm -hmm. there. Yeah. I should owner, you know, yeah. I pinda mba, yeah. mba So, exactly. but still, Agnes is there, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, on behalf of uh, the mastermind. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, Charlie, I'm excited for you. Yeah, you thank know, you so much for moving you, in. You will, yeah, you will be part of the guest list when you know we, when we do the housewarming party uh, with my wife and family. I I, I assure you, you're gonna be there. Ah, thank you very <laughs> much, Charlie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But but um, on the legend side, you know, Charlie is one of them. Though you know, mm -hmm. I'm still young, but. Mm -hmm. I watched Bambo, you know, play yeah. and, and Madinda, you know, they were exciting, you yep. know, those guys. And of course, they represent Dynamos and Islanders and the war fraternity mm. of the legends. And, you know, for Sakunda, I would love Kuti, Gatsu Samire, Papa. And that three year relationship need to be renewed. Mm -hmm. But as long as, you know, we are doing the right things, yep. Charlie, in football, we don't want squabbles in football. Yep. You know, it pushes away exactly. you know, the corporates. But we need more corporates now, you know, to come in and put more, you know, on top of this. And sure. everyone should, you know, be enjoying and say, ah, no, you know what, what Charlie was given, I also want to be given, yeah, that's right. you know, at the end of my career, you know, as a broadcaster. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Charlie, I'm really excited about this, that's the Sakunda right. Holdings, whatever they did, that's you know, right. to the football fraternity. Exactly. Uh, so thank you so much uh, to Sakunda Holdings. Uh, right. Uh, now we come to our number one team. Yes, the Warriors. Uh, the Warriors. Uh, uh, Zidravko Logarusic is gone. Uh, he's no longer the head coach uh, of uh, the Zimbabwe Warriors. Uh, you will know that. Uh, and uh, uh, Zifa, the National Association, uh, also disbanding the rest of the technical team. So Tony Rai stands and Raya, no longer the Warriors assistant coach. Lloyd Lodzachi Tembwe, no longer the assistant coach of the Warriors. And goalkeepers coach Tembo Chuma also no longer part of the Warriors technical setup. They've got a new technical setup. Oh, and also Benjani Marwari, the legendary undertaker, the forward, no longer a part of the Warriors setup. Um, he was also one of the assistants. Now they've got a new setup headed by Muchina Wema Juzi, uh, the legendary Nomen Mapeza, former Warriors captain, is now the head coach and uh, he's going to be uh, assisted uh, there. Uh, that's uh, Nomen Mapeza. He's got uh, his uh, assistants. And the new assistants are uh, the men we call Black Jack, Taurai Mangwiro, the head coach of Triangle United, and uh, the men we call Lulu Mandlam Pofu. Uh, what a week it was for him, the Highlanders head coach. And uh, the goalkeeper's coach is the man we we'll call Gokwe Energy Murambadoro, a former Warriors goalkeeper. Now, Diva, uh, this is a new setup, but listen, uh, it's not going to be easy. We've, we've already lost two of our first two games of the World Cup qualifiers for 2022. And uh, Muchina Majuzi has to... P, uh, to hit the ground running because it's not looking good. Yeah, it's not looking good, uh, mm. CNN. And uh, you know what? The results that we got when Loga was still there, mm. you know, we deserved, you know, to have those results, you know, because look, we went so many games without achieving what, mm. you know, what we wanted as a nation. And also, no man coming in, I think it's a, it's a blessing, mm. you know, uh, in disguise for our nation. Look, he has been there coming in, mm. you know, to sort out all the messes that have been done, especially mm. with the foreign coaches. So, now, Norman has got four games, you know, to salvage something. But with an eye to the Nations Cup come January, 
you know, but because at the present moment we need to qualify to the next stage of the World Cup, so we need to to win you know, our two home games mm -hmm. you know, yeah. against Ethiopia and against Ghana. Then at least if you can get a point in Ghana, that will be a bonus. Yeah. You know, because you know in in Africa it's very difficult, especially yeah. going away, mm -hmm. come back with you know three points. But we we can do it. We have done it before, and we have seen how Norman works. You know, we have seen how Taure Manguiro works. You know, we have seen how Mandlampov works. Mm -hmm. So obviously the combination that is going to be there, it will bring results. And also, our players, I think they will get the more understanding you know, of what these coaches want. Some of them, they've worked with Norman Mapeza before. Mm -hmm. And obviously, they know what he wants. Mm -hmm. So, he'll bring the best out, out of some of the players that, you know, our fans were crying for and saying, no, these guys are finished, we need a new crop. But mm -hmm. I still believe that, you know, this karma and knowledge are still, you know, our talismans, you know, for our national team. So, mm -hmm. Norman, but if not, he has got a big job to bring the confidence back mm -hmm. into these guys and also the British Brigade, where most of the guys, they didn't, you know, come. So mm -hmm. hopefully mm -hmm. in the next two games, they will be available. Mm -hmm. Right, so Muchina, where my juicy Norman Mapeza uh, knows that he has to hit the ground running and with his uh, new uh, technical assistance there. Now, uh, we've played two games. We've got four to go. Uh, uh, in the World Cup qualifiers and let's have a look at uh, the Group G standings just uh, uh, so that you know wow what an arduous task that Muchina Wema Juzi the jersey knitting machine has here are the standings and as we can see the diva um, South Africa on top of uh, the log standing there we you know everybody was saying that it's going to it was going to be the black stars of Ghana but uh, South Africa on top there with four points and uh, second place uh, Ethiopia uh, actually Ethiopia and Ghana uh, both on three points uh, of course and we anchor the standings of group G so it's a must our next game against Ghana away like you said I mean it would be lovely to win there but if we can get a point then uh, we beat them uh, in in the second game three day three or four days later. I think that's what we need, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we need, uh, CNN. And of course, you know what? That's a big task. Mm -hmm. And for coaches, you know, Norman Mapeza and his colleagues, uh, it's not going to be easy, you know. And for all the players that are going to be called up, they've got a job to do. You know, at least we are not far mm -hmm. from you know South Africa who are on top four points mm -hmm. we've got one point but at the end of the day it's, it's about how you score goals you know mm -hmm. we haven't scored a goal in the past two games mm -hmm. so we need you know to score first at least that confidence will be back but if you concede again the boys will put you know another shambling performance mm -hmm. you know and say ah you know what we are not we are not going to be losing but i know with no man at least we've got a coach who understands the players and also the players understands you know how Norman works and what he wants. And at the end of the day, Charlie, as a nation, we need to support these guys, you know, mm -hmm. especially in the next, you know, upcoming two games. Mm -hmm. You know, women away game against Ghana, we really need the points, mm -hmm. you know, for us, you know, to progress to the next round. Mm -hmm. You see, it might be a blessing in disguise because uh, the Black Stars of Ghana as well, they are in trouble. They just fired their coach and uh, his assistant. So they're also <laughs> really like us. So, you know, it won't be, I, I hope it won't be too bad. Well, uh, we were reeling in our first game against uh, Bafana Bafana of South Africa at the National Sports Stadium. We we're all expecting the Warriors uh, to have a roller coaster drive past Bafana Bafana, but they held us to a goalless uh, affair. And then we went to Ethiopia. We were hoping maybe to come away with a point. Uh, it was looking good until the very last minute when the Walias of Ethiopia scored a goal. I know it might hurt you again to watch the highlights, but listen, uh, it's uh, statistics, it's uh, history. Uh, here are the highlights uh, from that game when we went away to play the Walias of Ethiopia at the Bahada Stadium. Here are the highlights. Second round of World Cup qualifying from Africa. It's Ethiopia against Zimbabwe. Both sides failed to win their openers last Friday. And they've got into the box again. All the pressure coming from the men in green and it's gone wildly over the top from Emmanuel Gebri Mariam. And there's a chance here for Knowledge Masuna. 
goes for the goal and the first save pulled out of Fazil and it goes wide from the follow-up. There's the threat from the visitors. It's going to be Mesut who sends it in, not very well unfortunately. Comes back out again, though. No shot from distance and saved by Shumba. Nice little ball forward. Chance for Ethiopia to come forward again with Ramadan. Decent ball in. Oh, and a great shot and a good save. Could be danger. And it's a fine save from Fazil Gabriel Mikel. Another nice first touch from Abubakar Nasir and the referee has pointed to the spot for handball. Can he deliver the first victory for Ethiopia? He steps up and scores! And Ethiopia have the victory at the death! The centre-back sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Ethiopia join Ghana at the top of the group after they take this victory by one goal to nil. So very disappointing how it was. And we hope that in our next match, which is uh, uh, around the 10th of uh, October, uh, which is next month, uh, uh, we won't have another disappointing act against the Black Stars of uh, Ghana. Right. What we are going to show you now, uh, I have to warn you very strongly. Uh, when you get into a football stadium, when maybe the stadiums are open and uh, everything is uh, back to normal and you are being allowed there, or if you stay close by to one of the stadiums that are open and you are passing through, please, please, don't attempt to do this. Uh, because, uh, uh, be just because this guy did it, uh, it was right here in Zimbabwe, and we caught uh, this guy doing it, uh, but please, don't do it! Diva! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, true. Eh? How <laughs> did you do this? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, have, you, have, you, have you ever done that? No. No. <laughs> I've never even tried it. <laughs> You've never even tried it? I've never even yeah, tried okay. it. And I don't want to try it. You don't want to try it? No. <clears throat> Very bad one. Yes, uh, don't try it. Device and tried it. I haven't tried it. But that guy uh, tried it. It was uh, in a stadium uh, here uh, in Zimbabwe, in Kwekwe, uh, some time back. Uh, at Amaveni Stadium a couple of years back, but please don't you dare try it. Uh, so, well, as always, <laughs> what a show! And it just leaves me uh, to thank uh, uh, a very sporting uh, guest that we had on the show, a former Zimbabwe Warriors and Caps United defender, was also the under 23 and national team uh, captain, and uh, then later he was also captain at Caps United, Diva David Sengu. And Diva, uh, thanks so much. We hope to see you again soon on the show, and uh, all the best uh, with uh, what. Uh, you are doing now as you continue your journey in football thanks charlie mm -hmm. thanks to the viewers you know for having time with us mm -hmm. right uh, it's always great uh, when uh, you are with us uh, on the show and uh, the lovely thing about it you can watch this anytime over and over and over again on the dane dairy sports uh, facebook page uh, so Make a date with us again the next time when we bring you another exciting show Remember to take care of your loved ones and each other. I'm Charles, CNN Mabikam. Until we meet again, it's bye-bye for now.